how a blasphemous, sacrilegious food review sparked Catholic outrage in the Philippines. A high school student from a high school in the Philippines made a huge blunder that landed him in hot water. The student posted a food review of a Holy Communion wafer on Twitter, comparing it to cornflakes and giving it a 7.1 out of 10 rating. This caused a massive uproar among the Catholic community, who found the post disrespectful and inappropriate. To make things worse, the student studied at one of the most prestigious Catholic schools in the country. Many demanded his excommunication and expulsion from the school, with some even suggesting that he should be punished according to Canon Law 1367, which suggests that anyone who throws away consecrated hosts or keeps them for sacrilegious purposes would be automatically excommunicated. As a result, the school temporarily suspended Holy Mass activities, and the campus ministry said that they would guide and support the student while holding him accountable for his actions. Wow. So, Such okay. a major reaction. I, I need to explain to people who don't know why this is such a big deal. So, the consecrated Eucharist is believed to be the flesh of Christ itself. And to be able to receive the Eucharist, there are, it's, it's, one, it's probably the most important sacrament in the Catholic faith. And technically, before you receive the Eucharist every week, you should be in a state of spiritual purity, which means technically you're supposed to be going to the priest basically on a weekly basis to cleanse yourselves of your sins every time before you go receive the Eucharist. So you can be in a state of like purity while you receive the body of Christ, take his body into your body. Now, okay, Catholics don't typically go to confession that or, that often. <laughs> so <laughs> how much we're actually in a state of purity to receive the Eucharist is uh, up for debate. But this is the, the sanctity in which it is held in. Like, I was not allowed to receive the Eucharist, my first communion, until you do reconciliation, so there, which is another very important sacrament. So this is this is very 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 important to Catholics. Now, this <laughs> Darko was saying that score was way too high to be honest. <laughs> I really enjoyed the fact that it was seven point one. <laughs> Yeah, that's very... Not 7.1. 7. <laughs> okay. One. So this also, um, this as, as a former Catholic, this kind of blew my mind because there are certain, according to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, according to canonical law, there are certain sins that you can commit that are so bad that you are automatically communicated from the excommunicated from the church you're excommunicated from god's perfect organization automatically even if no one else sees you do it you're excommunicated instantly like on a spiritual level wow. and there are there are very few things that reach this standard of offense one of them is receiving or procuring an abortion one of them is basically uh, attacking or assaulting a priest. One of them is insulting, blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. And one of them is desecrating the consecrated Eucharist. So the idea is you could go, if you, if you take a consecrated Eucharist and go damage it, you are excommunicated automatically from the church, whether or not anyone sees you do it, right? There's a there's a word for this form of excommunication that I can't remember right now. Um, and I know this because I have done research into how I can get excommunicated. <laughs> nice. So obviously, I'm not going to go assault a member of the clergy, okay? I'm not going to do that. That's illegal and that's bad. Okay. 
I have not personally procured or received an abortion and I would prefer not to. So that's off the table. I have helped pay for a friend's abortion. So maybe that kind of counts, but anyways, and then the third one, blaspheming against the Holy spirit. I have done that. That's what I settled on because that's easy to do. That's easy to do. I can blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. And that's the unforgivable one. The other ones can be forgivable, but blaspheming against the Holy Spirit is unforgivable. So that's like, you know, I, I need I need to make sure that this is settled, that this is permanent, right? <laughs> and the fourth one is desecrating the Eucharist. And I was like, okay, I could do that. That wouldn't be too hard, except that would require me to actually sit through a Holy Mass and then go receive the Eucharist. And then I don't know what I'm going to go do with it, but I, that means that I have to go sit through a Mass to get a consecrated Eucharist. And I'm not willing to sit through a Holy Mass right now. So that was off the table. <laughs> um, Yeah. So I've, I've done my research into how to you know get excommunicated i can see that i can see that this is uh, you know i really want to know how philippines is a very catholic country okay yeah but i have so i think like young people are in philippines you know the atheist movement is growing in philippines but at yes. the same time most people the, i'm thinking about the average young people who are not in the atheist movement but are I think the Catholic Church is losing them as well. I mean, there's a huge growing atheist movement, but there's also a whole bigger uh, young group of people who are just too bothered with, I mean, too um, focused on other things. Like a lot of the people that the Catholic Church is losing, it's not because they're actively going and becoming atheists. It's just because it's just boring. You know, we're in the age of TikTok. You think people could sit through a sermon and <laughs> get you know it's just hard you know so 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 i this was is just why like, the I priest just... this is why they double down on hot filipino priests have you heard of this there's a couple of hot filipino oh. priests that are they go viral on social media and i see the tactic i see <laughs> i need to double can down we, on that we, tactic. can we cover that can we, we should go cover recruit should... more hotties <laughs> oh wow this is right, how you maintain here, uh, focus during the liturgy. Okay. okay, so here's the post, okay? So the post is, what does it say? Os yeah, actually, let me. It, Ostia review. I'm assuming this is maybe a Tagalog word for something. Or maybe yeah. that's his so the anyway. design. Design, so, six out of ten. I like the vibe, but oh, it was wait, this, through, I think. That's a cracker. Here's the we, cracker. He, has he took a the, photo of it and then gave his review. So I like the vibe, so but the if picture. it was centered, I think it would be a lot better. Crispness, 8 out of 10, not soggy, and had a, had a satisfying crunch. Taste, 7.5 out of 10. Um, something not English. Or I think he's saying it tastes like cornflakes. Wow corn factor, flakes, yeah. 7 out of 10. Decent. Overall, 7.1 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> so now I understand why the 7.1 comes from because he took the average. average that's what yeah. it's an average okay so you know it's really hard to understand how phil in philippines how the mindset is now right or like how I, I understand some people would get really outraged but what's the average view right and i think right now the best we have is to go by these emojis right so you can see the reactions we i'm just going to judge by the tear reactions and the laughing <laughs> out reactions, not the right? crying reaction. so, this, the cry, so yeah the crying reaction and the laughing reaction you can see that uh, 372 filipinos uh, were laughing at this and 157 filipinos were crying about this so overall i think the attitude is like this is funny right rather than yeah. outrageous yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that, yeah um so but if you go down lower you can see this person was very upset was saying for us catholics this is just so sad heartbroken lord have mercy <laughs> yeah. they okay. have to go they have to they have to stop the masses at this catholic school so they can basically purify like the whole place wow. they're like doing okay. rituals to like purify the whole place before they can start doing masses again so this person is saying that student should be kicked out and then we have another person giving a uh, expert analysis here saying it's not sacrilegious unless the host was already transubstantiated oh i did that well 
Otherwise, it's just what it is and un. Uh, what? How do you say that? Unleavened un bread. So bread. technically, this person is correct. So they're saying, yeah. until you do the Eucharistic ceremony, this is not considered yeah. the body of Christ because it is it during wasn't Jesus. Yeah. It is during the Eucharistic ceremony that it becomes literally the flesh and blood of Jesus. Literally. According right. to Catholic jo doctrine, this is a central Catholic teaching is that during the Eucharist, it becomes literally the body and blood of Christ. So if it's, if it hasn't gone through the consecration, it's actually technically not sacrilegious, but this is, um, actually a, a comment from Charles. He's saying desecrating the consecrated Eucharist, huh? Doesn't that mean that going to the restroom after eating that damn cracker? No, but there have been instances. I remember this happened. There was an instance where there was like an old man who was receiving the Eucharist and then he dropped it or something on the floor. And there was outrage because that was considered desecrating the Eucharist. And that was considered sacrilegious. He just accidentally dropped it and it hit the floor. So imagine the level to which people are receiving this. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, where it's very, very deliberate. I really like the guy's sense of humor. I hope he he's okay. I hope nothing bad happens to him. <laughs> I like the guy. It's funny. I mean, he's, probably, he's just like a kid. He's probably under a ton of pressure, like apologizing and everything. Um, oh. And... You know, the thing is, I actually really liked eating the Eucharist and wafers and the wine as snacks during Mass, especially because, like, you're kind of hungry and you're like, damn, I want this to be over already. And then you get a little snack and then you go sit back in your seat, probably do, like, a few more devotional songs, just, and then you finally get to go home. It's too when small it like, to be considered a snack. When it, was time for the, when it was time for the Eucharist, I was always like, okay, finally, we're going to be going home soon. Um, <laughs> GJ is so saying, that... is this as bad as trying to attempt a suey wooey? <laughs> as my, one of my... Suey wee. Let's call it that from now. Uh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Comedian, right, though, I like Chris it... Stefano. He's like, we like to add a little fun in my household. We call it a suey wooey. <laughs> suey wee. <laughs> Is it as bad as trying to commit a suey wooey? It's actually worse. It's way worse. It's way worse mm. than trying to commit a suey wooey. A suey wooey will send you to hell. It's considered an abomination, but it is still forgivable. This, yeah. Uh, we got, oh, uh, Chrissy was saying hi to us. Yes, Hello, Chrissy, Arminus. our Yay. best Yay. moderator on our Facebook group, one of our longest members i hope the other Lovely ones are not watching <laughs> yeah <know>. thank you <laughs> i think everyone can recognize how much crazy does for our community i don't think you know people would take yeah. that personally gaijin american gave us a five dollar super chat thank you he's saying if i mash communion wafers with wine and fed it to mushrooms in the shape of jesus would it be sacrilegious or will people actually eat a piece of christ well like i said is this a consecrated communion wafer and wine is it consecrated if the if it is, the answer is yes, that is definitely sacrilegious. <laughs> you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.